welcome in this video we'll see the bit manipulation instructions present in 8051 so the first instruction is move c 20 hex 0.7 so the meaning of this instruction is that the bit present at 20 hex 0.7 location will be copied to the carry flag so the bit addressable location 20 hex is available over here so here let me put the value as 80 hex so this means that this 80 is written in binary as 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this one appears at the msb position of 20 hex location so that is nothing but 20 hex 0.7 so that one will be copied to the carry flag so carry flag is available over here in psw register so it is having value 0 so when i execute this instruction the carry flag becomes 1 so that is this bit present at 20 hex 0.7 location is copied to carry flag this instruction is of direct addressing mode because direct address is given in the um, instruction itself and this instruction is of two bytes one byte is required for opcode and one byte is required for storing the direct address next instruction is move 20 hex dot 0 comma c so the meaning of this instruction is that the contents of carry flag will be copied to the bit addressable location 20 hex point 0. So again that same location is available over here. So right now the LSB bit of 20 hex dot 0 is equal to 0. So when this instruction is executed the contents of carry flag will be copied to that bit location. So the carry flag is 1. So if I execute this instruction this one will be copied to the LSB location. So you can see here we have now got here 81. Previously it was 80. So this instruction uh, is of direct addressing mode because direct address is given in the instruction and this instruction is of two bytes. One byte is required for uh, storing the opcode and one byte is required for the uh, 8 bit address. Next instruction is JC. So JC stands for jump if carry. It is actually a conditional jump instruction. So if carry flag is equal to one, only then the program counter will jump to this label next. So this next is actually written here for understanding of user. But in the compiler, after compiling this code, this label will be converted into a address, address of the program memory where the jump has to be done. So here the carry flag is 1. So the instruction says that jump if carry flag is equal to 1. So it is 1. So when this instruction is executed, the program counter will jump to the label next. So the next label is written over here. So let us check the output. So you can see that this arrow has directly jumped to this location. It has not executed this instruction. So it has simply skipped this instruction. So this instruction is of uh, 2 bytes. One byte is required for storing the address and one byte is required for storing the uh, opcode. So the next instruction is JNC next one. So JNC stands for jump to the next label if the carry flag is not set. So JNC next one will execute only if the carry flag is not set. So right now the carry flag is one so this condition will be false so this program counter will not jump to the label next one instead of that it will execute the next instruction so let us check the output so you can see that this arrow has come over here it has not jumped to the label next one so this instruction is of uh, two bytes and uh, it requires one byte for opcode and one byte for uh, the 8 bit address so this instruction is just I have written for uh, demo purpose. Next instruction is JB 20 hex point zero. So this 20 hex point zero is the bit addressable location. And in this instruction, we are going to check the contents of this address location. If this address location uh, is having one, then that instruction becomes true and it will jump to this label next to. So uh, this location is available over here. It is having value 81 and the LSB bit here in this location is one. 
so this instruction will be true so the program counter will jump to the label next to so let us execute that instruction so as you can see here it has jumped to this label next to because the value at this bit addressable location was 1 next instruction is jnb p 1.0 comma next 3 so this instruction says that jump to the label next 3 if the bit p 1.0 is not set so this p 1.0 bit is present in port 1 so for that we have to go to peripherals io ports and port 1 so here you can see that uh, the bit 0 is having a check mark it means that it is having logic 1 so this instruction uh, jnb p 1.0 comma next 3 will not be executed why because the bit is having value 1 and this instruction will become false so it will execute the next instruction so it will come over here and it will execute this instruction the next instruction is jbc p 1.0 comma next so the meaning of this instruction is that if this bit that is p 1.0 is set then jump to the label next and after jumping to this label next clear the bit p 1.0 that is the meaning of this instruction so right now the bit is 1 so this instruction will be true the condition will be true and it will jump to the label next so the next level is uh, label is available over here so it will jump to that location and at the same time it will clear the bit p 1.0 so let us check that so you can see that it has jumped to the label next and at the same time it has made that bit equal to 0 so a blank checkbox indicates that logic 0 so this bit is cleared instruction is of register addressing mode because uh, this p 1.0 bit is present in the register p 1 and uh, it, this instruction is of 2 bytes 1 byte is required for storing the opcode and 1 byte is required for storing the address so again uh, these are all conditional jump instructions so this is about the bit addressable instructions present in 8051 uh, in the next video, we will see the branching instructions present in 8051. For more information, you can log on to the website given in the description of this video. Thank you.